Well good afternoon everybody and uh, welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I've got a bit of a job I've never done before here and that is uh, my RO unit. Uh, I've had it working for about four or five years and never done a thing to it. But lately it's been putting out water around about 15 to 25 uh, TDS. So I'm going to change all the uh, cartridges and the membrane. So. Uh, I'll probably make a mess of it, but uh, here goes. Well, I've taken the unit down and uh, I've slacked these uh, uh, these cartridges off with these that they provide these things that just uh, clip up and turn them. You know, so uh, they come off quite easily. So this is the first one that takes the water from the tap and the filter inside is supposed to be white. When it's new it's white. Now I'm a bit late in changing all these. I should have done them before now. And uh, just look at the state of them. They're absolutely filthy. That's supposed to be white. Unfortunately, I've ordered all the wrong replacements. The uh, the membrane that goes in here is the same one uh, as I took out, so I've refitted that. And the uh, the polishing resin here, I've I've done that one as well because to supply new resin, use the same uh, the, the, the same vessel here to pour it into. So I'm just waiting for a new one of those and a new carbon block that's as the right size and then we're okay for going. So I can't do anything about that. I can only show it you once I've cleaned it all up and I've got it all put together again. So uh, that's it for that I'm afraid. Well, this is a request I've had from one subscriber who wanted to know uh, about Renanthrus. Well, I don't know too much about them, but I'll uh, I'll try and give you uh, the idea what I do about them and where they come from and things like that. Well, to start with, they come from Southeast Asia, and there's around about 20 species of these. They're closely related to Vandas, and. Uh, they're grown in some of the same fashion as you grow vandas. Now I don't own any vandas, so uh, this one has been potted uh, since I bought it. It went very small, about six inches tall, and now it's oh, getting up for three feet. Uh, but it's been in bark all the time and never redone. Uh, I don't redo these and I don't redo uh, uh, angraecums. For the simple reason is that if you start disturbing roots on these, then uh, they, 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 they can stop flowering, especially on the uh, angraecums. Uh, what else can I say about renanthras? Renanthras, yeah, they like uh, plenty of light, plenty of warmth. Uh, during the winter they can stand temperatures down to the low 50s and uh, in, in summer temperatures sort of down to the low 60s but they do like warmth and they do like plenty of light. I like to place mine outside in uh, in summer in the warmer months and uh, that's why I've just brought this one inside just for video purposes because the wind will be blowing a bit outside and you'll get the wind noise on the camera but uh, in winter these uh, when they're indoors or if they're still outdoors I just feed them heavily once a week. Uh, if you're growing them in bark, uh, you want to feed them twice a week. If you're growing them like vandas, just once a week. You know, like growing in a basket or something like that. Just to them once a week. I don't know what else I can say about these, only they're so beautiful uh, when they're in full flower. Uh, they can get to two metres long. Uh, the uh, flower spike can get to a metre and a half long and it can have virtually 
one or two hundred flowers on at a time. So uh, that's all I can say about them. I know I've got mine in bark, but uh, if I get any more, I will definitely put them in baskets, which I find it's much easier for the roots. Right then, there's not much else to say today, only I've got a lot of things going on, which I'll video when I get the time. And uh, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Hope you're all having a good time and your plants are growing well. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.